You have 6.2 rational exponents, unit fraction exponents, and whole number bases. So now they want us to actually evaluate it. So first we have to put it into its radical form. So 3 is my index and 1 is my power. And so that's just the cube root of 64, which we already know is 4. Then here you've got the 4 index, a power of 1. So that's just the 4 root of 81, which happens to be 3. Okay, and why? Because 81 is 9 times 9, which is 3 times 3, and 3 times 3. So 81 is equal to 3 to the 4th. And when you have the 4th power of 3 to the 4th, it's like these two things undo each other, and you just have 3. Or you can consider it as putting it into its um, exponent form so you have this power divided by that index you get 3 to the 1 if you reduce that fraction which is just 3. Similarly the things can be done for this one 64 is um, 8 times 8 which is 2 times 2 or 2 times 4 I'm sorry and then 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 so 64 is equal to 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 power. And then the cube root of 2 to the 6 power can actually be written as 2 to the power 6 over 3, which is 2 to the second power, which we know is 4. So if you don't memorize your perfect cubes and your perfect 4 powers, there is a way to find it by... Um, breaking up your number into its prime factorization and then once you have it in its prime factorization write it with exponents and then use your exponent rules to start simplifying that.